Okay, good. So in this one, we will find FLRW metric that represents our expanding universe. It is named after Friedman, Lamar, Robertson and Walker. So in the last one, we saw this definition that tells us about positively and negatively curved spaces. So now let's just start with redefining these coordinates like this x goes to a times x and u becomes a times u. Substituting this into our definition we get dl squared equals to a squared dx squared plus minus a squared du squared and the constraint becomes a squared x squared plus minus a squared u squared equals to plus minus a squared. So we can write it better as dl squared equals to a squared dx squared plus minus du squared and in the constraint a squareds are cancelled so what remains is x squared plus minus u squared equals to plus minus 1. Let's differentiate this constraint to find 2x dx plus minus 2u du equals to 0 which we write as u times du equals to minus plus x dx. Like I told you in the last video that we will get rid of this u coordinate. To do that we put this into our definition of line element. Hence we can write dl squared equals to dx squared plus minus du squared. It becomes dx squared plus minus du is nothing but x dx divided by u. So we can write minus plus x dx divided by u its whole squared. And for this u, we use this constraint and we get our final result as dx squared plus minus x dx squared divided by 1 minus plus x squared. And now we can get rid of this plus minus signs by simply putting k in its position. So we write dl squared. Oh wait, we missed one thing. All of this part is multiplied by a squared. So we should write a squared here. And here. And also here. So that we can write the line element for this three dimensional space which has some curvature as a squared multiplied by dx squared instead of plus minus we take k representing the curvature multiplied by x dx squared divided by 1 minus k x squared note that we have taken minus sign here because it is opposite to this sign here it is plus minus and here it is minus plus. So if I put k equals to 0 then we get Euclidean 3 dimensional space which is flat. Then if I put k equals to 1 then we get positively curved space time. And if we put k equals to minus 1 then we get negatively curved space time. Now it's good if we write this line element in polar coordinates that is r theta phi. To do that we simply put dx squared equals to dr squared plus r squared d theta squared plus sine squared theta d phi squared and x dx equals to r dr. You'll find these definitions in any geometry book. 
and putting this here gives us dl squared equals to a squared multiplied by the first part is dx squared so we write dr squared this part plus r squared times d theta squared plus sine squared theta d phi squared plus k r d r squared divided by 1 minus k times r squared so let's get this dr together we get a squared dr squared plus k r squared dr squared 1 minus k r squared it was 1 minus k r squared plus this middle part r squared let's call it d omega squared this underlined part we're calling it d omega squared so first two terms gives us so like we can write dr squared common out then 1 minus kr squared plus kr squared all of it divided by 1 minus kr squared so these two terms cancel and hence what remains is dl squared equals a squared dr squared divided by 1 minus k r squared plus r squared d omega squared now as i said earlier we know from observations that our universe is expanding so basically as time goes by the distances between two objects say two galaxies it's increasing and overall size of the observable universe is also increasing so we say that this radius or actually it's called as scale factor it is increasing it's a function of time and as time goes by the size of space is increasing and this was the motivation behind FLRW metric we know that the flat space time is given like dl squared equals to dt squared minus d x1 x2 x3 squared and instead of this part which is a static euclidean space we put this dl squared hence the flrw metric is given as ds squared equals dt squared minus a which is a function of time it's square multiplied by dr squared upon 1 minus k r squared plus r squared d omega squared and thus we celebrate this metric as our f l r w metric i hope you were able to catch up with all the steps involved in deriving this metric and even if you don't just don't worry because in my first cosmology course i was not given any proof of this so i simply assumed that okay there's some metric that take care of expansion of universe through a scale factor that depends on time and a constant k which represents flat space time for zero value and it represents positive curvature for plus one and a negative curvature for negative one value so just note this part 